Hey guys, welcome to the review show. My name's Austin, and welcome to the sequels. This is uh, amazing that we're almost done with the Star Wars uh, series. It sucks, I know. Uh, I had a great time um, talking about the Star Wars movies. It kind of feels like it kind of got a little lazy um, later on in the series. I, I know it does, um, but I've been really busy recently, and I'm on a tight schedule. I am planning to go to uh, Texas for the um, for the weekend, for Christmas and all that. So I'm really on a tight schedule, so that's why I'm speeding through these reviews. I'm trying to give my thoughts and uh, explain my uh, the parts of the films that I really want to talk about very well. So anyway, um, let's get right into it. Talking about Force Awakens, warning, there will be spoilers. Let's get right into it. Star Wars, The Force Awakens. This this was, this blew my mind when I watched in theaters. And especially when I saw the first trailer, I'm like, wait, what? There's another Star Wars movie coming out? I'm like, yes. And when I and I actually when I saw this film, I did not know it was coming out, um, coming from Disney. I thought George Lucas was like, uh, you know what? I have nothing else to do. The Indiana Jones movies aren't doing well. Let's just put out another Star Wars movie. And so I did not know that Disney bought Star Wars from George Lucas. George Lucas still owns from uh, so, still owns like a little um, um, part of Star Wars though, where he, you if you if you use his characters that um, uh, from the prequels or like from the originals, you have to pay him uh, pay him. So I didn't know that, which is a really cool um, tidbit. And so, which another thing is that George Lucas actually did not want uh, any of this that happened in the sequels. He wanted to go into more of the uh, the, Mandal uh, the Mandalorians um, stuff that he mentioned in the prequels. And so it, it kind of sucks hearing that um, from what ha uh, from now, especially with the Rise of Skywalker coming out is like, Disney kind of hurt George Lucas, but I mean, I I can't I can't blame them. I mean, George Lucas kind of had his chance, and it sucks to say that. And I really like this movie, and I do, and my thoughts have not changed anything about it. And I know that's a terrible thing to say, but George Lucas had his chance, and uh, I and he's been actually kind of jackass about these sequels. I actually seen uh, his thoughts about these, and it's just like, come on, dude, you had your chance. You knew that Disney wasn't going to go with your th uh, sto uh, like thoughts and stories. It's like, you should have known. I think he did know. I'm not trying to be mean and put him down. It's like he had, uh, he did, he gave us what he needed to do. I think his time came up with uh, his time was done with Star Wars. I think he, I think it was a good idea to give, um, give it off, but at the same time, kind of terrible. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'll get into my thoughts why it was terrible at the same time, because Disney sometimes doesn't know what clue, what they're doing with Star Wars, especially right now. But anyway, let's, let's continue on. This film has been, this film, but nothing, um, makes you ask questions throughout the whole entire thing. And after this film, like every channel out there had theories, even I had theories. I was like, wow, this was just freaking amazing. Like seeing Snoke like for the first time was like, that dude is fucking scary. I can't wait to figure out what he, uh, who, like who he is, where he came from. But I guess we're never gonna find that out. But it's just, it's, it's opened a whole entire new universe and it's just really cool find out that Kyle Ren is um, um, Solo's son and Leia's son it's just freaking amazing that he's like and it makes sense that he's um, like the next leader of the First Order and because he's basically the blood of Egg and Skywalker and he has that dark side of him it's just really I really like Kyle Ren I'm just saying it, Kyle Ren actually is like the best villain for Star Wars so far because we know him more than the, excluding the prequels and the uh, um, the originals after New Hope is that we know um, Kyle Ren a lot more than we knew um, than Darth Vader and New Hope. That that's just that's just freaking amazing and great screenwriting. It's just freaking good and. I, I mean, he has a fucking badass lightsaber. Like, that thing can do fucking damage if you use it right. It's, I mean, and the acting that comes from, uh, uh what's his name? 
uh, Adam, Adam, Adam Drew, I think that's how you say his name, uh, uh, no, yeah, Adam Driver, sorry, I said his, I, I don't know why, from here it looks uh, like Drew, but so like, it's just, he, he does a great job, I really liked his performance, it's, it's great stuff, I, I can't wait to see what he does in um, Rise of Skywalker because he kind of got shitted on uh, in Last Jedi by Ryan Johnson, and I'll get um, into my thoughts um, there uh, when we get to there. But here, he he's just a kid. He has no clue what he's doing because the because um, people are at the end of, uh, at the end of this film when we finally uh, first of all when we get Rey when we find out that Rey is basically the next Jedi. And not Finn, because this film starts out basically with Finn um, betray, uh, betrayed in the First Order. And so we thought that he was our main lead, but really it was Rey this whole entire time that is our main lead. And that's who's going to become the Jedi. And so at, at the end of the film, when he beat, uh, when she beats Kyle Ren, people got pissed. That's like, how how did this guy that has been a jet, like a, that used a lightsaber longer than her... Um, beat beat uh beat him in a fight because he never had anyone to fight against with a like a, like a dual actual fight, and so and she always and she was running throughout the whole entire film. She was trying to get away from it as possible. He was she wasn't going up against him and be like oh I'm a fucking badass now. <laughs> there there was actually character development in her character. It's just freaking amazing. It's not like in the Last Jedi where she just suddenly can do all this shit that she couldn't do in the Force Awakens. It's just really great stuff, and I freaking love it. And especially the, the performance coming from Oscar that plays Poe does fucking amazing. He's the best part of this film, which actually, um, I, with, um, if you guys watch the star, like the extra stuff that comes on the Blu-ray and um, DVD and um, the behind the scenes and all that, Oscar said that he was originally supposed to die, where uh, where Finn and um, uh. Uh, Poe crash on back on Jakku. Um, Poe was actually supposed to actually die, and that's um, right there in that quicksand and where the ship blows up. He was originally supposed to die, but the, but he and another thing about uh, him as an actor, he always dies at the beginning of a, of a film, and so Disney's like, you know what? We're, we'll be nice to him because I think he says something to Disney. He's like, give me give me more to do, and so Disney bit. Uh, uh, was nice enough to leave him to stay alive throughout the whole entire film, which is a great choice because Poe did was a very good character in this film. Great development, and so I mean it was a great choice. Everything in this film was a great acting choice. Glad to see the uh, original cast back: Han, uh, Mark Hamill, and uh, Carrie Fisher. Rest in peace. Um, it's it's just it's just all amazing, and especially Han Solo went out. Uh, sadly, Han does die in this film, clearly. Um, but so, like, I think it was time for um, Harrison Ford to go. The dude's like almost eighty, and so I, th I think actually now he is eighty, somewhere around there. And so he's really old, and he has an Indian Jones film coming out. How, how the hell? I, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be left on the side. But like, and Chris, um, Chris. Uh, Oh God, Chris Pratt is gonna take oh, um, take over the role of his son, um, that was used to play by um, oh, God, I can't say his name, but you know who I'm talking about. Um, but so, yeah, it's it's just really it just sucks to see him go. I kind of wish that he was still alive though, but he was left on the side for like the like for the movies, and he's he's there and he's just doing like quick little shots and all that. But, you know, he doesn't really have to be in the fight. But, I mean, it gives us a um, great moment between um, Han and Kyle slash Ben Solo. And so it it gives that heartful moment and that actually sets up the whole entire fight scene. It gives that fight scene a purpose and it, and it like, I don't know, you just feel something in that fight scene, which is really great. And so, and the idea of having another Death Star... I, it's kind of tedious because people are just like it's just a, it's just a, it's just new hope again. People see the thing is people that complain about 
uh, with when it came to the prequels, I want it more like the originals. When it comes to the sequels, like it's too much like the originals. It's like make up your damn mind. Come on, seriously. It's like you want something, but you go against what you say. That's the, that's what the problem with the Last Jedi. The Last Jedi goes uh, goes one direction, but then it goes against it. It goes against itself. It contradicts itself. That's what you're doing here right now, and I think that's what Ryan Johnson's trying to prove, I guess, with the Last Jedi. And it just makes it makes. Uh, I mean, it makes no sense, people. That's why. That's why one reason why we got the Last Jedi in some sort of way. And but you know, Disney doesn't know how to pick their directors um, once in a while. Um, but so like, it's it's just this film is amazing. The it's the best Star Wars film after what we got from the prequels. And honestly, I I loved um, what's her uh, God? What's her name? I can't remember. That's my re weakness. Is um, actress names. Uh, Daisy Daisy Riley, she is fucking amazing. Uh, I couldn't ask anyone uh, else to play Ray. Uh, John as Finn, great stuff. Um, especially giving uh, getting a character that's from um, the Empire side that finally turns. That's something that we never gotten before. Is that someone from the imp uh, from the dark like the First Order or Empire uh, Empire side? Um, turn on uh turn on who uh, on everyone that they knew um it's just it's just great stuff and we um have a moment where t uh, finn actually knew, I guess knew someone at least the stormtrooper knew finn i don't know if this finn knew him but they there was a cool fight scene where um he gets to use Anakin skywalker's uh, slash ray's lightsaber which is freaking amazing and we had a great scene with ray where he, uh, she um, sees everything that happened in the past and sees somewhat the future um, that should have been in The Last Jedi but wasn't but it, it's just I mean it's really cool because it sets this it's just a setting up moment it's just like um, uh, at, I, ha I have him up there I should know his name uh, AJ Abrams there we go I'm sorry if I had to edit it out because it's just the, I, sh I shouldn't I, ha I have his freaking thing up here I shouldn't know, I should know his name but hey uh, oh my god JJ Abrams just wanted to um get back to the like feeling of the originals that's all that's all he was doing and trying to set up and but then Ryan Johnson fucked that up but it's just that's just the whole point of the force awakens that's why it's called the force awakens because the awakening is of the originals so it's just like it, it it's great stuff and I mean, I couldn't ask for any more. There's still a little, like, nitpicks that you could go for, like, with, like, uh, <clears throat> like, who is this Snoke guy, I guess? It's like, why, why is he here? Um, I guess Ben, uh, Ben slash Kyle is a little whiny brat in some sort of way. But this, uh, Anakin was also kind of whiny brat. And it's kind of surprising that uh, when we find out in Snoke that is this powerful freaking being did not teach Kyron a, a whole lot which I guess makes sense. Hey guys um this is kind of a little weird um this is actually recorded on a different day the original recording that you guys were watching there was um video um corruption in it so I have to come back and finish this and so yeah but that's why it's a little late that's why you didn't get one uh the day before because I didn't know uh, it was corrupt and all that so you know I'm gonna be here and finishing that up and next I'm gonna get my last J review um, out um, after this so anyway but yeah it, this is just it's so um, great that they went back to their roots at least for now um, but it's just I mean it's just it's just great because all the characters are great I love my favorite character is Poe Dameron like he is so great his character arc well, I guess he doesn't really have a character arc because he's hardly in the film, but what he does is just fucking amazing. And I actually kind of will mess him up in The Last Jedi, which I'll get to um, in that review. Um, but so, yeah, it's just, it, it, I mean, the cast is great. The visual effects look amazing. Um, but yeah, um, that's basically all my thoughts on Force Awakens. It's uh, great stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to give uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens an A-. It's really great stuff. They, uh, I'm the reason why I'm getting an A- is because they reused the Death Star, I guess. And so, and they, uh, uh, I, I, and they used some of that, like, like stuff from the uh, original. 
So they, they use some elements, which is kind of like, okay, all right. Uh, they're just trying to move the story along. I get it. So I, I still have to take some points off of it. But anyway, those were my thoughts on Star Wars The Force Awakens. Let me know what you guys thought down below. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. And like always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.